right. I actually already looked at this and you can hear the hissing was coming here so it's de this is definitely the problem and when I bought the car three corners were the bags already replaced except the front right so the other three have new Bielstein airbags um, so let's install new airbag here, the air strut. So after you remove the, the wheel fender liner, this is how you remove the cable junction. You lift it up and pry it out like this, and it's just a matter of sliding out. Right, let's start by removing this upper. Is this mic even on? Yeah. This upper joint. It's a 17 mil.
perfect. Alright, so I'm supporting the spindle with another jack. I need to disconnect the lines. There's enough give to relax the spindle. Right, let's remove the lower. I think you can loosen the. This is also free. You can loosen the air connection and the three nuts that hold it to the chassis. Alright, see if we can compress the strut enough to actually remove it. Oh, you can hear a hissing. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. All right. Hopefully they sent us the correct parts. All right. All right. All right. Let's try again. All right, this is the part number. You can see it. Yeah. Instructions. Throw those away. Yep, looks similar. Thank God. So Somewhere in here. First off, well, the first indication that something was wrong was it's all of a sudden when you unlock the car and touch the door handle, it someone it sa sounded like someone was letting air out of a balloon, like almost like a whistling sound. So I went around the car and searched and hear the hissing noise coming from the front right wheel and, and here we are it's all greasy and I felt with my hand that it, the air was coming from here so it's definitely one it's definitely one of the problems with the aromatic all right
the gold went through smooth. See, it's gonna be attached to the upper one. Probably should. I will tighten this when it's on the ground so the bushing is relaxed. I should have moved the sticker before I put it on the car.
These are very easily over tightened. That will damage the o-ring and we have a, you will have a leak. These are tight, spindle, these are really fitted. Right, now we refit the tire, however, we do not lower the car. You can easily wait two minutes to properly ensure that it's fully inflated, all four bags. Let's lower it carefully. Uh, I hear the, comp the compressor kicked on, see if it raises itself. a bit more yeah the compressor kicked on again yeah the jack is completely free now the car has risen itself. A lot of them. Let's 
head out for a test drive. Alright, it seems to be running fine now. Smooth, like it used to do. Um, so uh, I would call that ex a success. I guess I checked on other online videos on how to on how to replace the front air struts on these W211 chassis automatic systems and all of them stated that you needed a four point lift to raise the car absolutely level when doing this I think this proves that, that it's not necessary however if you do experience uneven height some of the in one or two corners after doing this uh, you might need, ha, need to go to the dealership for a height calibration as you can see I have the check engine light on and uh, I've checked the codes and it states uh, boost pressure uh, too low or not reached I think it was something like that and uh, that fault code occurred at the same time as the engine mount collapsed. So either due to the vibration, one of the solder joints in the turbo actuator came loose. Because I've done some research on the internet and apparently that's a common issue. Or one of the uh, boost pipes or boost hoses have a small tiny leak in it. However that will be on the to-do list. However now it will work fine for now. So until next time have a great day. Alright so the car has been sitting now for the past 72 hours and it haven't dropped a millimeter so I will definitely call this repair a success and it rides just as well as it did before the strut failed <laughs>